Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping the race, races from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course in Granville, PA. It is uh, Wednesday evening, March the 4th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. I'm going to focus on race 5 this evening, folks, 8.23 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the 6 furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-old fillies racing for a claiming purse of $19,000. Contenders number 4, Fidera. Number six, gotta have, gotta hope. Number seven, River Lime, and number one, she means business. Number four, Federa takes a class drop of seven units, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of her last two starts, including a maiden breaking power run win in her second race back. Jockey Jose Flores was in her irons for both of those last two outings, producing a positive 140 percent return on investment in the process. Flores is back again tonight for his third ride. Number six, Gotta Hope, at 8 to 1 shot, is a nice early speed for the sprint. The pace profile leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his first asking 25 days ago here at Penn National. Race 5 summary, number 4, Federa, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 6, Gotta Hope, number 7, River Lime, and number 1, She Means Business. Four six seven one in the fifth tonight from Penn National. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Ohio's Beulah Park first race seven. Number three left on base four to one in the morning line. It's nice overall speed for the six for a long sprint. Race this evening at the Charlestown races in Slots Casino in Charlestown, West Virginia. Race six the nine to two shot. Number one gracious plenty. It's a nice speed for the sprint at the specialized distance of seven for a long on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Wednesday evening, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, where, by the way, you can wager on these races, including the long shots, reminding you, as always, to please bet with your head, not over it.